Hi, my name is Donna and I'm the National Training Manager for Australian Skin Clinics. Today, Amber and I are going to be showing you our recommended way of using your Australian Skin Clinics White Jade Stone Gua Sha. Gua Sha is an ancient and traditional Eastern treatment and it's been used for lymphatic drainage to remove stagnant chi or energy built up in your skin. The Gua Sha technique helps to release built up toxins and waste from within the skin and by stimulating microcirculation of blood and lymph. The Gua Sha can help to improve your skin health, it can reduce puffiness and it can result in a smooth and radiant glow. So we recommend using your Gua Sha as part of your skincare routine on a regular basis, at least two to three times per week. The reason for this is that our skin relies on healthy circulating blood to feed your skin cells, vital nutrients and oxygen. Unlike your circulatory system that is moved by the pump, your heart, the lymphatic system relies on muscle movement to function. So when using your Gua Sha in your skincare regime, you are essentially moving your lymph. Now let's work through how you can use your Gua Sha White Jade Stone at home. Firstly, ensure you have a glass or a bottle of water with you, as this will assist in flushing out the toxins in your body. Water is great for your skin. It provides hydration, so you should be drinking this regularly. You'll also need a cleanser, cleansing pads or a face washer, a serum or an oil, a headband to keep your hair off your face, and of course the Gua Sha tool. We recommend using an authentic jade stone as it provides a cooling effect on the skin. The best way to use your Gua Sha is to place this on an angle to the skin, like this. Each side of your Gua Sha benefits different parts of the face and we'll go through this with you as we move through each step. So let's begin. So to start, ensure you have double cleansed your skin using the appropriate cleansing products. We recommend and use the Balanced Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. We also have these makeup remover cleansing pads that will ensure you get a deep cleanse. The next important step when using the technique is to use a serum that provides enough glide and slip on the skin to move your Gua Sha across your face and your neck. For this, we will be using the, the Balance Antioxidant Lift FX Serum. And you can also use a suitable facial oil if you like. Take a small amount of your serum and apply it to your neck first. In a typical facial massage, we would normally do upward movements. However, with the Gua Sha, we use movements that work with your lymphatic system. So it may feel awkward at first, but after a couple of treatments, you'll find it gets easier. Let's talk you through the Gua Sha movements more at each step. Now that we have cleansed and added a serum, we're gonna empty one of our major lymphatic ducts below the collarbone. And that's in this area here and we call that subclavicular duct. So by gently pressing and using outward circular movements, what we're doing is we are clearing this duct and essentially emptying it of waste. So think of it like emptying the garbage bin. Throughout the Gua Sha technique, we will be clearing your nodes of the face and the neck and taking it back to the subclavicular duct where it will be processed by our incredible immune system. When doing this technique, we also need to be mindful of the pressure we put on our skin for lymphatic drainage. Your lymph nodes are situated all over your, your body, your face and your neck. And the nodes are the dumping sites where lymphatic fluid takes cellular waste. So our body can then process it and then get rid of it. And these nodes are really fragile. So using light pressure only with your Gua Sha is important. Otherwise your node can collapse and the lymph fluid cannot drain efficiently. So once you have cleared the subclavicular ducts, we're going to start with the Gua Sha tool and we're going to start on the back of the neck. Amber will show you where to start at the base of the skull and you're going to do two to three glides per area and we're going to work down downward movements towards the, the front of the neck now you can see that amber has only done one half of the neck and there's a reason for that. We're going to work one half of the face and the neck at one time. So I want you to imagine that you have a, a line that runs from the middle of the forehead down the nose, down to the chin and then down to the neck. 
and we're going to work one half of the face at one time. But before we start that, let's pop some more serum onto the skin. This antioxidant serum is going to then provide your skin with slip, but it's also antioxidant based, so it's going to help with any damage on the skin. Right, from the center of the chin, we're going to take the Gua Sha tool using the curve that suits your face the best, and we're going to take that out towards the ear. You'll also feel that relaxation of those jaw muscles. Subconsciously, you may find that you clench your jaw and so that will relax those muscles as well. From the chin, we're going to move up to the upper lip area and we're going to take again our lymph out to the very side of the face towards the hairline and in front of the ear. Working upwards on the nose and outwards again to the temple area. The orbital rim is the bone that surrounds your eye area. And so we get a lot of puffiness in that area. The Gua Sha works brilliantly at helping depuff that area and moving the lymph so that you don't have the puffiness present. We'll then go to the brow and it's a really good area to, to work the Gua Sha and lifting that brow area. And then from, from the brow we work into the forehead starting from that centre brow area, taking the lymph down to the temple. So once we have finished one side of the face, we're then going to take the lymph down to the subclavicular duct again. So from that temple area, you're going to take it all the way down, two to three times again, and then you've finished that first side of your face. We'll repeat the face and the neck on the other side. Once complete, again, take the lymph down to the subclavicular duct on the other side. So once both sides of the face have been treated, we will need to empty the subclavicular ducts again using the same gentle circular movements we used at the beginning. I like to focus on my breath when I'm performing this step. So three to four deep inhalations and slow exhalations will assist with clearing the waste. Finish off your treatment with a lovely glass of filtered water or a herbal tea and continue with your regular morning or nighttime skincare routine. When doing this at night, we recommend following it up with a nighttime mask. I'll be using our tripeptide sleep in mask, or you can use a moisturizer as well. Remember, use your Gua Sha ritual two to three times a week for the best results. Enjoy your process and choose a time that helps you to relax and take some time out for your own self-care. We hope you enjoy using your Australian Skin Clinic's Jade Stone Gua Sha just as much as we do.